yeah YouTube we have a new project car this is one I like to call skid that's the number plates um, this is a 1968 Toyota Corona um, of course I seem to keep falling into these things this one a bit older um, so to my knowledge this has only ever had three owners the original for 40 odd years um, the guy I bought it off who had it for a few years and then myself and the guy I bought it off really didn't do anything to it except for the hideous stuff on the roof um, and I bought this oh, actually about three months ago um, but I've been in the process of moving house and extra everything so I have done a few things to it but not a lot in that time um, but as you can see she's in pretty good condition this one guard here is obviously off a different car it's a different cream to the rest of it but the rest of the panels are actually all the original panels um, I, as far as I can find there's no real fillers in it um, some rust has been replaced down there at the bottom of the door and down there mended should I say um, but again it, it is 50 uh, tomorrow today being New Year's Eve so tomorrow this car turns 50 years old and I thought it'd be a good time to uh, upload a video anyway this is Skid and this is the next project this one I'm not gonna paint matte grey or do something like that I'm gonna try and keep this actually original um, and turn it into a really kind of original classic looking car um, I do have the original hubcaps any of the chrome pieces that I'm missing right now I do have there at home sitting in a tub so you know that strip off the bonnet and all those I have all of them all the badges I have uh, most of them are actually on the car still but any of that aren't I do have them and when I bought it it didn't have this uh, one on the boot but I went and sourced one and put it on so we have a boot one I do have a key barrel uh, I just don't have a key for it that's hence why it's not in there but I'm gonna get one made for that um, yeah it's actually a pretty straight old car and it runs um, it is registered as well so anyway this is skid there's more things going to be done or actually a lot of things that are going to be done to it um, outside I really haven't done anything I said I put all new tires on it because I actually blew three tires at once um, just because they were so old and it sat on them for I think they were 01 tires so 17 years old and I drove them on the highway and I popped three of them so that's happened put new headlight globes in uh, inside the car give you a little tour uh, all the original door cards are actually in quite good condition the actual vinyl this one's warped the actual uh, fiberboard or whatever's behind it but the actual carpet uh, the vinyl is good inside the front driver's seat is actually immaculate on the passenger side driver's side on the other hand this is blue sticky tape duct tape because it had a big hole in it and there was a hole there too uh, obviously I do have to get that fixed but anyway for right now this fixed it and makes it drivable um, gonna buy new carpets for it uh, the original carpet is there intact but it's all faded and looks shit so you can actually buy it as a kit it's about a hundred and something dollars and you get a, a whole new piece from front to rear um, all the cluster and gauges are all there original um, speedo is in miles per hour so I've, I've temporarily just put in a, like a heads up display um, because that makes life a little easier and then in the back oh, sorry and it is a four speed manual on the column so four on the tree so it's a little different to drive to get used to but here's what it is and then in the rear these rear seats which I haven't really cleaned either are actually in very good condition so I don't think this has been a family car it's really just been one person um, the whole back seats are like very very good so it's not a lot for me to have to do back there and the door cards in the rear as well are like new so the whole back inside is, is immaculate and the front's not bad considering it's just one you know 50 year old seat that's started to wear so what do you expect uh, but overall all the chrome bumpers are on it everything's there and um, this should be a different project problem is that I do have a new garage that is a tandem so I won't be respraying it for a while because I do need a normal double garage to do that so most of the things I'll be doing now will be in the engine bay and in the interior and uh, we'll get around to, to respraying it one day and I uh, just thought I would show you um, the engine bay so um, this is pretty much as I bought it all I've done is um, I put some new earth and a new power uh, I have got to get another battery um, that's too big so I have got to change that uh, but the previous owner 
that I bought it off had put in new fuel pump, mechanical one. There's a new coil there, um, new cap on the on the um, on this guy, new leads. Uh, what else has he done? New lines, new carby. So it's got a Weber on it. I don't ask me what model, but it is a Weber carby. And what I've done as well, uh, I have changed the headlight globes. Um, so I actually changed the entire fitting to one that allows an actual globe. So these have got H1 actual globes in them because originally they were an entire the entire thing is the globe. So now they're just a, a body that you can actually change globes in. So um, that's about all in here. Otherwise, it's just dead stock. Um, oh, oh, sorry, and I put new radiator hoses on it. I replaced the fuse box. Um, so it had an original fuse block, which was pretty, pretty ancient with like ceramic fuses, isn't it? And um, just falling to bits. So I've replaced that as well with two nice ones. So one's ignition and one's permanent power. I think the red one's the permanent power. Um, and I've also just got a few spares, you know, ready as well. As you can see that one there. There's a wire, but there's no nothing coming out of it. It's just a spare ready in case I ever need to add any accessories or anything. So put nice two little fuse blocks in. Um, obviously I'm going to respray the engine bay one day when I do the car. But for now I've just done this stuff to make it a little bit more easy to work on and easy to live with. And um, I'm also going to be adding a radiator bottle because currently there is no overflow on this. It just pours outside. So I'm going to put a bottle down there so that it actually keeps some of the water. So anyway, that's what she looks like. Um, that's good and uh, more videos on this guy coming up.